chance We'll send a postcard when we're through RMMS 3000 Mobility Scooter is a foldable, multi-purpose mobility scooter. It is comprised of a high-quality carbon steel frame capable of supporting 265 pounds. To unfold the scooter, pull the red ball to release and gently open the scooter until both wheels are firmly on the ground. To refold, pull the other red release and pull up on the scooter until it is fully folded. The RMMS 3000 supports the attachment of accessories, including a front and rear basket. To install the front basket, loop the hooks over the handlebars and attach the Velcro. The rear basket can be added by removing the seat. Fold the backrest flat and pull the release handle located under the seat. Gently remove the seat and attach the basket using the bracket and included bolts. Lastly, reattach the seat. The headlight assembly can also be removed and adjusted to your liking. To loosen the clamps, use a compatible screwdriver. To ensure proper headlight and battery display functions, make sure the cables are attached. Handlebars adjustments can be made by unlatching the release lever in the center. Make sure all levers are secured before riding. To turn the power on, make sure all cables are connected, then insert the key and turn it to the first position. This will turn on the battery display and low beam headlight. To turn on the high beam, turn the key to its second position. When powered on, the battery indicator will display how much charge remains. Controls for the horn, speed, and reverse can be found on the handlebars. To engage reverse, click on the red R button. To disengage, unclick the button. The speed selector allows you to choose from three different settings. The slowest being 4 miles per hour, then 8, and the fastest at 12 miles per hour. To control the accelerator, twist the right side hand grip towards you. Be sure to apply lighter accelerator inputs when using the scooter in its highest speed setting. Rear disc brakes ensure safe and consistent deceleration. The brake is located on the left side hand grip and features a locking feature which can be applied by pressing the small locking button next to the brake lever.